Hey boys and girls, welcome to chapter 3, lesson 5. Uh, the subject of lesson 5 is on the screen, and you should write that down on your Cornell note page or in your comp book. It is how to divide multi-digit numbers. So after this lesson, hopefully uh, you can do that and you're ready to practice. Uh, this is another lesson where be very helpful to be showing your work on grid paper to keep things lined up and nice and organized. Uh, let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is uh, something that's really important, especially with dividing, and that is the different ways of writing division. So I'm going to write that over here. Uh, I'm going to use for our example the ways of writing 12 divided 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So I'm going to show you three ways to write 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Um, and we're also going to learn some key uh, terminology when it comes to dividing. Uh, we are going to talk about these key vocabulary words. The dividend, the divisor, and the quotient. Um, if you don't know what any of these words are, um, you will after this ex explanation. So the very first way that you could write 12 divided by 3 equals 4 is you could write it like this. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Now notice the way I wrote that and when I say 12, this number gets said first. 12 divided by 3 is 4. A lot of times kids read this wrong. They want to start by with this number, and you don't start with that number. If you're saying it, it's 12 divided by 3 is 4. That, that's the translation for that. Um, the next way that you can write 12 divided by 3 is 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So there's an, that line means divide. Just like this means divide, that means divide. And finally, the last way that you could write 12 divided by 3 is what it would look like if you were typing it in your calculator. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. All of those three are interchangeable. So 12 divided by 3 equals 4 could be written like this, like this, or like this. Uh, and if you are solving a division problem with your calculator, this pattern right here is very important to know. If I'm going to calculator this problem, I don't type in the 3 first. I would type in 12 divided by 3 and hit equal and I would get my answer of 4. So super important that you know these different ways of writing division and you can go back and forth between, uh, between them. This one of course is what we're going to focus on today because we are going to be uh, solving long division without a calculator. So we're going to be using this one. Okay, in all of these equations, the dividend is the 12. Okay, that's called the dividend. It's the number that is being divided. The divisor 
is the three. It is the number that is being divided into the dividend and the last one is the quotient. The quotient The quotient is the answer to a division problem. So 12 is our dividend in all three examples. The divisor is 3 in all three examples. And the answer is 4 in all of the examples. All right. Uh, next thing we're going to do is show how to long divide. The problem we're going to look at first is find 351 divided by 9. Okay, And the steps that we're going to use for long division, uh, we've talked about these before. It's been, uh, if you go back to the skills test, it was in that. Uh, the steps are, I'm going to record the steps right here, the steps are divide, multiply, um, subtract, check, and bring down. Uh, we've also talked about uh, a mnemonic to help you remember the steps, divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down. Uh, a way that you can remember that is, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? And this is actually a loop. When you get down to this, you go right back to divide, and you just keep repeating these steps over and over. Okay, let's take a look at 351 divided by 9 following these steps. So. Again, I'm showing, I'm going to go back to my patterns up here. Three, I want to write it like this. 351 is going to be the number on the inside, and 9 is going to be the divisor. So it's going to look like this. How many 9s go into 351? And I'm going to follow my steps one at a time. Uh, divide. How many nines? It's, the question is always how many of these, the divisors, fit into this? How many nines fit into three? Well, the answer to that is none. So some people record that zero, or some people just go to the next digit and then answer this question. How many nines fit into 35? So use your math facts, your multiplication table. Look at your 9 row. How many 9s fit into 35? The answer is 3 times. So I'm going to color coordinate these. So that's the divide step. The divide step, the answer to the dividing goes right there. And now I'm going to multiply this number times 9 to make 3 times 9 is 27. And let's use a different color for the multiply. I'll use orange. And I'm just going to draw a line showing that this is what I'm multiplying. 3 times 9 is 27. The next step is subtract, so I'll use a different color for that. Let's use pink. So I'm going to subtract right here, 25 minus, uh, or I'm sorry, 35 take away 27 leaves you with 8. Okay, so this is the subtract that part. Um, let's go back and get this 27 is the multiplying. Okay, my next step is called check. And this is the check. You are looking to see is this number 
what you wound up with after you subtracted, is that smaller than this number out here? If it's smaller, you're good. If it's not smaller or equal to that number, you've made a mistake and you've got to back up. So is this number smaller than 9? I'm going to say yes, it is. So I'm going to put my check mark there. So that's just kind of a, an awesome check that you can do when you're long dividing. If this number is not smaller than the number out here, you've made a mistake, back up. The next step is bring down. If the check is good, you bring down the next number. And, let's see, hopefully this works. I'll make that blue. So we bring down the 1. And now we are back to the top. We are dividing. How many 9s go into 81? Use your uh, multiplication table or facts that you know. And you would say, how many 9s go into 81? That is 9. Then I would multiply. 9 times 9 makes 81. I subtract, and I'm left with nothing. And I don't have any more numbers to bring down, so my answer would be 39. I'll go ahead and add the colors. 9 times 9 makes 81. How I got that 81. Uh, subtract. I'm left with 0. And check is 0 smaller than 9. It is. No more numbers to bring down. That's my answer. So my answer would be 39 for this. The answer how many times does 9 fit into 351? Answer is 39. All right, if you are ready, uh, you may switch to uh, working on today's practice assignment. Um, if you're not, uh, if you'd like to see another example, I'm going to go through another example right now. Okay, the other example I'm going to look at is, uh, let's see, 3, 4, 8, 2. Three four eight two divided by sixteen. Three thousand four hundred and eighty two divided by sixteen. Still going to follow these steps, even though the divisor is now going to be a two-digit number. Nothing changes. The steps stay the same. So let's rewrite our division problem so that we can do it in long dividing. How many times does 16 go into 3,482? Following these steps in a loop. How many 16s? I'm going to look at one number at a time. How many 16s fit into 3? The answer there is none. Then I'm going to look at 34. How many 16s go into 34? So I've got to use some mental math here. 16 doubled is 32. So I would say 2 times, 2 times 16 is 32. I subtract, 34 take away 32 leaves 2. I check, is this number smaller than this number? It is, so I can bring down, I can continue and bring down the 8. And then I'm going back to the top again, dividing. How many 16s fit into 28? Well, 1 for sure. The second one takes me to 32, so it's only 1. 1 times 16 is 16. Subtract is my next step. I get 12. Is 12 smaller than 16? The answer is yes, so I can keep going and bring down the next number. So now I've got 122, and I'm back to the top. How many times does 16 go into 122? So in my mind, this is how I would mentally break this up. I would try uh, some numbers like 6 and break this up in my mind to a 10 
and a 6. If I did 6 times 10, that would make 60. And 6 times 6 is 36. And then I would put those together, that would make 96. And I can, I can see that I could fit another 16 in there. So I'm going to go to 7. And I think that I'm not going to be able to fit another one after that. So I'm going to try, I'm going to multiply it out with 7 and see what I get. So again, mentally, I'm breaking this into a 10 and a 6. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to write that down over here on the side. Just think out loud. I'm, I'm dividing 16 into a 10 and a 6 is what I'm doing in my head. And I'm going to do 7 times 10 to make 70. Just record that. And 7 times 6 is 42. And when I put these two together, I'm going to get 100. 2 and 0 is 2. And 7 and 4 is 11. I'm going to get 112. So you may need to be doing other work on the side uh, if you can't do it mentally, and that's okay. Subtract. 2 take away 2 is 0. 2 take away 1 is 1. Is 10 smaller than 16? The answer is yes. I keep going, but there are no more numbers to bring down. So in this problem, 10 is a leftover. It is going to be 217 remainder 10 would be my answer for 3,482 divided by 16. Okay, uh, your hidden treasure for this lesson is going to be all your chapter 3 notes again. Uh, so you should have five pages, lessons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will check for that. Uh, on the next day, if you have all five lessons, you'll win the hidden treasure. Uh, good luck, and I will see you very soon for lesson six.